Hey everyone, what's going on? Dave Kettner back here again in my training series that I'm doing, teaching you how to sell digital images on Etsy. So we right now are in step number four, which is monitoring the results. And if you haven't seen my prior videos in this series I've been doing here, please go back and, and go through and start with the intro and the other steps, because if you do that, then you're actually gonna follow along and I'd like, I want you to take action as you're going through this training. So this one again is about monitor the results and edit, revise your listings based on the results that we're seeing. All right, so let me go through and show you exactly what we're talking about here. So again, this is step number four, monitor results. This is where we're gonna edit and revise based on the actual results and data. Now realize that I did this, I put three listings up a week ago today. Today is April 11th and I listed them on the 4th. So we are just getting some data. We don't have that much, but I'll show you what I have for the what that I put up. Uh, and I'll also share some uh, two other listings that were older that have more traction and how we can utilize the data that we're seeing from them. So in this lesson, we're gonna go through and check the listing stats to see which keywords are generating the traffic and clicks. Now that this stats is gonna be showing the organic traffic, people that are putting the, what in the search bar and they're finding your listing. All right, if you turn on advertising, which I usually do, especially to start, then we can see the advertising data as well. We're gonna go in there and look at which keywords are generating the traffic clicks and even the orders of where they're coming from, what people are searching for, okay? Then beyond that, we wanna look at some keyword research tools to go find more options so we can see the keywords that are generating traffic and then expand upon that and see how we can add more things to our listing. And that's the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna revise our listing so we're updating our title, our descriptions, and our tags based on these results that we're seeing. And this is gonna help bring more clicks, more sales, and more, more rankings for those keywords that people are searching for. All right, so let me go into my Etsy store right now. So here I am now in my Etsy dashboard. All right, and we're gonna start here with stats. So if you click on stats, it's gonna go through and show you where your stats are. Now, I'm gonna go through and just do the last seven days, because like I said, for these new listings I just put up, we've only had them up for seven days. So if I come down here, you'll see the very first one is one of the ones I put up, which is one cross plus three nails equals four given. All right, so this is the SVG PNG file that I put up, and you'll see that we actually had four sold with this particular one and brought in $2 of revenue. We had 33 visits that brought in four orders, so that's okay. You know, uh, it looks like one out of every three, or actually a little better than that, brought in an order, and so that's okay. Not the best, but notice I only had it for three days, and uh, the reason was because when I started seeing these orders come through, and we were paying a little bit of money for that, I wanted to turn it off the, the, the ads and see if we can start getting some rankings. Usually we start seeing some results that come in after a few orders, but I think with this particular one, because it was so close to Easter that you know we, we didn't do it soon enough. I probably should have listed this you know maybe two or three weeks ago, uh, but hey, it didn't work out that way. But we did get four sales and you can come down here and see you know where the search terms, what search terms are are generating traffic. So this the, the main what it's called one cross three nails for given came you know brought us two for you know and one from Google for three visits. Now again this is not much data because it wasn't really up there that long, so we were, didn't have that much traction here. But you'll see there are some other keywords. So I'm not going to put too much into this, although I could see that you know Easter was the second one there with two visits. I wanna make sure that I had that because I don't believe that I put Easter, I did over here. So maybe I wanna put it a little sooner. Notice I did put Easter Resurrection and you know that's right there. So it does show you that keywords that we're putting in the title is making a difference and people are searching for them, people start seeing them and it goes that direction. Um, next, I would wanna go here to marketing and look at our ads. All right, so if you did ads, you would get some results here. And with this particular design, and uh, like I said, it was over the last week. So I'll put this month because it's April and that would cover the time frame. I already turned this one off. So if you come down here, it says, you know, your listings, you want to see if it is showing ones that are on or off because it might not show the right one. But if I click on spend here, let's see if it brings up active listings or, yeah, I think it's only doing active. So I come over here and see what it says advertise. Make sure you do active, which is active all listings and now it's coming up because I already turned this one off. So if I click on here, the detail stats for the one design we're talking about here, we can see that we had almost 2,200 views, 18 clicks and four orders. Now I did spend almost $6 to only make $2. And usually I don't mind, right? If I'm spending more between five or $10, I'm expecting to see results come from 
with the rankings adding up with the algorithm. So we actually then start getting organic results and sales from this. And like I said, we had a nice start with this, but when I turned the ad off, no traction. And more than likely, I think that there was a bunch of people that were already trying to compete for this. And I think I didn't put it up soon enough to compete with them. If I would have put this up sooner, I think we would have done very well with this listing, but we did not. Anyway, if you click on here, it says searches that led to this ad. We can come through here and see that the first one says we had three clicks for Easter SVG and one order came from that. Now, as you scroll down here, you're looking for where another order came. We have one right here, which is the, again, the title, one cross, three nails for given SVG. Boom, one sale. All right, I did scroll through here and look for where the other two sales came from and it doesn't show. So if I click on here, it says orders that came from this ad, you'll see that it'll show you the different orders, but we still don't know where those other two keyword sales came from. And it doesn't always show you that. All right, so unfortunately we know what two came from, but we can go through here and see, hey, we're getting a lot of views from Christian Easter. We're getting a lot of review of views just from cross. Okay, so we wanna make sure we have Easter, Christian, cross, religious, Jesus, resurrection, all these things. Christian. We want to make sure I said Christian. We want to make sure we have those in the title. If we're you know we're getting the views from there, we want to make sure we get them. So if you notice, I don't have Christian in there. Do I have Jesus? I don't have Jesus in there. Uh, Easter resurrection. What was the other one? Religious. I don't think I even said religious up there. So these are things that I could put in there. Maybe are more important than having printable, you know, Cricut download that sort of thing. I could have done a better job putting there. So these are things that I would revise. All right. I want to go back to stats and to show you the class of 2023. One of the ones that uh, that that we put up there was having some good traction. So if I come in here, class of 2023, there it is. We had 12 views, and watch well, this one says eight visits. So eight visits, two orders. That's really good. So one out of every four people like that clicked on this ordered. So this is a good start, even though it's just starting. We are still a month to two months away from graduation. So this one I'm probably listing soon enough, and it is starting to get some traction. So that's good. And as I and I already know this, I'll know. I'll show you when I put the ads on. I only had uh, one order come through an ad and one was a search already. So that is some good traction. So you can get some search terms to see it says male seniors. I don't think I put male in my listing. So that's something to think about. Now this one says the Gradulorian. If I do a search for this, I think it's this very specific image. I probably will not put Gradulorian, but I do have grad in my uh, title. And I think that's where uh, either that or a tag, that's where it's coming from. But definitely seniors and male. I don't think I put male. So maybe we can put male and female in there. I did not put that in there. Okay. Let me go to the marketing for this one. So we we'll go to Etsy ads for the class of 2023. Again, I want to check the time frame. We just want to do it for this month and see the one for 2023. Where, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to do it right here because I don't think we've spent that much on this one. So I do class 2023 and here it is. So here's the two that I put up right so far. Now, I did not get an order from this one yet. We spent 73 cents, three clicks, no orders. All right, I have a good click rate on it, but this one is better where we have one order that came from 49 cents spent to make 50 cents. So that's a clean wash right there. And like I said, one came from organic traffic. So we actually made profit on this one so far and we just launched it. So this is good. Let's see where the searches that came from here. And then we can get the ideas looking at all these different things right here. Uh, maybe I need to do a little more with clip art in the front of that. Maybe I need to use more senior. I don't think I put senior in the title at all. I did not. So see, that'd be something that I want to add in there because you see seniors right there, seniors right there. So I want to make sure that I put that into the title. These are things we want to update. Now, I do want to show you something. If I come back here to my stats and I want to expand this out to all time, I want to show you two digital images that we've sold in this test store that's been that did really well. So you see here we have Christmas bundle and uh, this obviously is only going to sell around Christmas time. But notice we had 70 sold for $271, almost $272 of revenue. All right. And you see where it pops November, right? October, November, December. And November was the biggest, which uh, uh, is interesting. 64 orders for that in November. So maybe people were actually using this for POD designs. But you can come down here and now the search terms are, you know, see the traffic is much more, it's a lot more data. So therefore we have more things we can use here. And with these bundles, we have a lot of different, different things in here. We have Santa, you know, Christmas, uh, different things, holidays, 
Merry Christmas. So of course, these are gonna be more specific to what's in the bundle. I will cover in another video uh, training of how to do bundles and why to do bundles and how we can do a, get a lot more. Cause you can see for here, we're selling this for $7.50. And you see, we did really well with 70 orders. Right. Notice we were not charging the whole amount. I think we probably had a sale on that because if you take 70 times that, that's not going to equal that. Right. Uh, but usually we do a half off sale or, or, or at least 25% off sale to make that better. Another one I want to show you if we come back here again to back to stats is uh, last year's graduation. Actually, we had, if I come back here and do the all time, click on order so that all comes to the top. We had this one here, Kiss My Class Goodbye 2022. And uh, this one did really well too. This is for last year. We sold it for $2 for this one design. And we had 41, so again, so we sold it really for, looks like $1.25, $1.50, right? Probably $1.25. And uh, that's what brought you know these sales in. You know, And we had 41 orders, so almost $60 and right around the time the graduation is, all right? So come here again, look at the search terms, and we can see, again, the very specific long tail of what this digital design is. Kiss my class goodbye, right? Especially down here, they're seniors. So I should have known, looking at last year's, I could have used senior in my class of 2023, 2023 one. But anyway, you can see here how that works. And the same thing you would do for your, uh, if you're doing ads as well. So good to know, right? Now, here's a software I like to use, it's called Maker Words. And see, one of the keywords that we saw for the class 2020, 2023 was senior 2023. So you can put that into Maker Words and I can come down here and say, hey, what are some things that are getting more searches? And then how can I add these into my listing to get more traffic and hopefully more sales, more clicks, more sales. So you see that senior signs is one. Uh, of course, seniors and sen senior and seniors, so the plural and singular, you wanna make sure you have both in your listing. It's very important. SVG gift, I think we have gifts and PNG right there, right? So there are some things I could do here, but we wanna take keywords that we're getting from here and then go into a search tool, put them into that and see what else we can get that is around those things. So things that we can do to get more traffic and continue to update our listings and make them better. All right, so as we close this out here, I want to make sure that you are doing the things that we talked about in this lesson. Make sure you are checking your stats and your ads data to find the best performing keywords and then update your listings accordingly. It's very important that you're going through and utilizing your results and updating. Don't think you're just gonna throw something up there and it's gonna start selling like crazy. Sometimes it does, but most of the time you have to work. All right, this takes work and effort. You have to go through and revise, revise and just continue to make them better. All right, do more keyword research. That's gonna help. You're gonna find more options and then update your listings as you're doing that. And as you're using ads, remember, I'm gonna share this uh, in many videos, make sure that you're monitoring them closely, especially when you're close, you're going after you know something that's right around the holiday time uh, or you are on a really high traffic keyword. Just watch it closely because you don't want it to spend too much money. All right, and then realize too, you wanna to put more listings up, as I talked about. I only put three up here because I was just doing it for our training, but definitely the more listings you're putting up, the better traction you're gonna get. The more that you can put that have long tail keywords targeted, the better and easier it is gonna be able to rank on Etsy and get you more sales and traffic, all right? So in our next video, I'm gonna be talking about rinsing and repeat, how to take this and put it on autopilot, make sure you're you know, taking it to the next level. I'm even gonna show you a way that you can do it without you know, having paying someone else to do it for you that you can eventually get to have a VA or someone else do that so uh, you can actually be focused on more important things in your business. All right, and I'm also gonna, again, one of the trainings I'm gonna show you is how to do these bundles because then you can get more bang for your buck as well. And people love to buy the bundles. I'll show you exactly how to do that. So if you enjoy this, this training, please like my video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that so you can get notified. If you click that bell button, you'll get notified that uh, I'm putting out these new videos so you can be you know, get, the, get it right away and hop on there so you can take action right away. That's the main thing I want you guys to do. Take action on this training that I'm sharing with you so you can better your business and start bringing in more sales and traffic uh, for your store and uh, more income for your family. All right, so I hope you enjoy this again. I hope you have a, a wonderful day, night, wherever you may be in the world, and I look forward to catching you again next time. Until then, take care.